Hello, my fellow Americans. I'm President Chair. You see, some of you may be wondering how I got here. I mean, some of you like CNN reporters and people like that are probably asking, who is this old man and why is he here now? We know what happened with McCain. There was that explosion. And then President Palin... I'm trying to explain how I got here. President Palin sold Air Force One. That's where the trouble began. On eBay. Then they contracted with the school bus company and I was the driver of the school bus that was chartered by President Palin. We were on our way. Well, that's not important. We were going in the cabinet and everybody was in the bus. We had stopped at a Walmart hoping to spend the night there. However, However, they passed a law. Walmart passed a law. I think somebody should look into that, because why is Walmart passing laws? Oh, that had to do with that bailout, you know, when the stock market kind of crashed, or we thought it was going to crash, and then the legislature rushed out and passed that bill, and all that money went to the people that were running the stock market and the bank executives that made all the big loans. Well, that's not important. The thing that's important is why I'm here now as President of the United States, an, an old man and an emo to boot. You see, while we were waiting to try to get some kind of dispensation because the president, the cabinet, the entire order of succession of the presidency was on the bus. There was a there was a moose in the parking lot. President Palin said I can take care of that moose. So she took her forty five caliber AKC registered Mauser rifle and she went out to shoot the moose. I don't believe in violence and so I said I will go and get a double latte at McDonald's because they took over <laughs> Starbucks and had their franchises in the Walmart so I was going to go there so I stepped out of the bus to get the double latte and President Palin took her big gun and shot the moose. <laughs> President Palin did not know about exploding mooses. They, they don't have exploding mooses in Canada, but we had them in Detroit and Los Angeles, you know, in the areas where the gangs had taken over. But anyway, then the moose exploded. <laughs> And the bottom line, I was the only one left, so I'm the president now. What you say? Huh? Oh. Oh. Um. They didn't have exploding mooses in a. What was that? Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I. I get confused since they merged uh, they merged Mexico and Canada and Alaska so I what Oh I knew that I knew they mer merged the three together now now we have that new highway 69 that goes from Mexico all the way up into Alaska so the trucks can come across. I, I, I think I should, as president, 
probably probably say something to calm America. Well, first of all, now that I'm president, I I think we should do something. Yes. We we should change things. Um for example, um I was thinking maybe we should talk to those people in Iraq. And that war is still going on. Well well I was thinking when we started the war in Iraq, you said you fight the war, we'll pay for the fuel. Well, that teed me off. So I think we should have some legislation that will require you to pay for the fuel, like you said you would do. And uh, you know those C-41, 141s, the big airplanes that are out on the runway there? They're not going to fly until you put some fuel in them. And there's another problem while we're fighting the war. Fuel prices keep going up all of the time. I can't even drive my Chevrolet. It's an American car. It's a fine car for a president. I think I'll have it painted black now that I'm president to match my 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 suit. Another thing, while we're fighting the war and you have all those billions of dollars in our banks, I'm going to commandeer that money, all those billions that you have in our banks. And I'm going to divide it out among all of the people that have been paying for their for their fuel excessively because I think you were price gouging and I'm not going to let it happen anymore and remember you will do what I say because I'm unstable and I am the leader and I have atomic bombs don't screw with us and then never again will this country be permitted under my tenure to get forced into a deal that costs every American fortunes to aid executives who've managed to screw up our economy. Never again will we bail out companies that have taken their business out of the United States of America so they can avoid paying taxes. You will see no more of our tax money. And never again will we pass legislation in a matter of days because you tell us that we must do it without looking at it. Because if we don't, something terrible will happen. Once I had a salesman come to the door. He was going to sell me tree cutting services and he said it had to be done today and he would do it for three hundred dollars it ended up costing me over twelve hundred dollars and he never really cut the trees don't think as president I'm gonna let you screw around with this that way anyway brace yourselves because it's going to be a change now that I am your president, if you will excuse me.